All right, so back in the day, one of my first cameras was the Canon T3i, and very shortly after using the Canon T3i, I upgraded to the Lumix GH4, and the GH4, as we all know, doesn't have the best autofocus system. It's almost non-existent. So with the autofocus being so terrible on my GH4, I thought, you know what? I may as well learn manual focus. But the issue with this was that I didn't want to learn manual focus on client shoots or on shoots that I had to like meet up with a friend and shoot a free video and almost like use my shoots to guinea pig myself learning manual focus. So what I did was I learned how to master manual focus at a very beginner stage of my filmmaking career in the comfort of my own home. So what you're gonna need for these exercises is three objects. So I'm gonna use these three mugs. So all of the layover shots that you see of me showing you how to master manual focus at home are going to be filmed at F2.8. You know, at F2.8, it's not too hard, but it's also not super easy until you get a lot of reps in. So first off, what we're gonna wanna do is show in like a wide open area so I'm in my kitchen here guys and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my three mugs your objects and I'm gonna be filming this way right so one is gonna be very close to the edge of the counter and this is where I'm gonna be filming at. I'm gonna be filming like right here so I want one mug really close to me I'd say maybe a foot away the next one is gonna be a couple feet away and we're almost going to have it sit just slightly off centered from the first mug. And the third one is gonna be all the way at the end of the counter there, okay? The whole purpose of having smaller objects for this exercise is that it's much more difficult to actually rack your focus onto such small objects rather than, you know, racking focus onto, you know, this wall that's behind me, right? Like that's very easy to rack manual focus onto. But when you're dealing with, you know, trying to rack focus, only using your LCD screen on your camera, it's much more difficult to rack focus on smaller objects. But again, this will help you jump the learning curve of learning manual focus and doing it out of the comfort of your own home. All right guys, so first off, what we're gonna do is put our camera into manual focus, all right? So I'm gonna press record on my camera here and as you can see, you can see my screen right now, it's overlaid. And basically you can see the three mugs, right? So right now I just pulled focus onto the first mug here. Now I'm gonna pull focus onto the second one. Slowly do it right there. And now onto the third, it's kind of hard to see. There we go. So now I'm rack focus on the third mug. Now I'm gonna go back to the first one. Boom. Now I'm gonna go to the second. Right there, back to the first. You get the idea. So I always say that this exercise is the best to just really understand your manual focus wheel on your lens that you most commonly use. So I always use this Canon 35 mil for all my shoots. I'm very comfortable pulling manual focus with it. So let's say I'm focused on that closest mug that I was just showing you guys, but I want to rack focus to the furthest one. I might only have to move the focus ring by an inch to get there, but getting that good muscle memory of how much you need to pull your focus ring or move it around to actually pull focus onto subjects that are one, very small and difficult to pull focus on in an environment like this. And this just ultimately gets you more familiar and used to pulling this manual focus and at the same time watching your LCD screen to make sure that you're actually pulling focus. All right guys, so this next exercise is now putting a little more motion into your manual focus pulling. We have one mug that's gonna sit right close to us, like right here. And we're gonna have the other mug that's at a medium distance. We'll even put it a little further back right here. And basically what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna square up with this closest mug to me, right? So I'm gonna square up with it right now. I'm gonna press record. And basically this motion is now adding movement to our manual focus pulling because a lot of the time when we are pulling focus manually, we're probably moving around while we're shooting. So I would say the biggest takeaway with this exercise is the fact that when you're pulling focus on your closest subject, this mug right here, and we pull, we move and pull focus to the further mug as we're moving. So this motion from here to here, right when I start moving, I'm already pulling focus to this mug. So when I'm pulling focus, pulling focus while I'm moving and get to this mug, I've either nailed my focus like right away or I'm so close that I just have to make a minor adjustment on my focus wheel on my lens. So we're gonna try that again here. So we pulled focus on here. Now I'm gonna move my camera while I'm moving it. I'm pulling focus to the further mug. 
Now, as I'm moving, I'm already pulling focus and now we are dialed in to the closest mug. We're gonna do it one more time. So one other thing I wanna take note of, you can't really see uh, my body movement here. So right now I'm literally standing in a uh, handheld shooting position pretty much. So as I shift my weight, you know, I'm now loading up all the weight onto my left leg. As I move back, I'm now loading up all the weight onto my right leg, right? So as I'm moving, this just gives me a lot more stability, even handheld. So not only is this a manual focus, exercise but it's also a bit of a handheld exercise as well just teaches you some better handheld skills and just better control shooting handheld now obviously these shots you know it doesn't really matter i'm just you know showing you these for educational purposes but this is literally what i would do when i was a lot younger and i owned a gh4 and a canon t3i i probably practice for a good 20 minutes a day just manual focus pulling on stuff on my kitchen counter all right guys, so this next exercise is more so mimicking, more running gun style filming. So let's say you're at a wedding, you're filming a wedding, a lot of things happen very candidly on weddings, meaning that the moments that you're capturing are just like, you have to be ready to capture them very quickly, right? There's no time to waste. So let's say we're on a wedding shoot. Maybe there's a girl laughing, she's laughing her head off and you're like, oh my God, I need to capture that shot. Lift up the camera press record, rack your focus, capture the image. So this is what this exercise is actually gonna mimic. So basically all we're doing here is we're actually gonna hold our camera to our side right here, all right? Holding the camera to the side, the camera is turned on. And what you're gonna wanna do is, and you can do this without an SD card in your camera, as you're lifting the camera up, you hit that record button. So I just hit record, I pop it up here, pull my focus, and now I'm gonna stop recording. Now I'm gonna pull my focus alt ring all the way to the right. So I'm gonna rack it super, super close to me just to purposely mess it up so I can do another repetition here. So putting it back here, as I lift up, I press record and then I hit that focus, boom, hit the focus, stop recording all the way to the right, back down. We'll do one more just to show you. So coming up, press record, hit that focus ASAP Rocky, right there is perfect. Hold it, press record, done. So that's a really good one. I would say that that exercise is probably the one that is the most realistic to actually filming videos as a freelance videographer, just a videographer in general. Every videographer out there has shot a super candid and just run and gun style shot like that. It doesn't even have to be just for weddings. That was just one example. It could be run and gun music videos. It could be shooting event recap videos. That's when this type of shot would come in handy. And this is definitely the exercise to practice at home. Now you can modify it a little bit, or maybe you have, you know, one object super close to you, one further away, and maybe you're using the wall as your third subject. So basically what I do is I'd raise my, my camera, press record, I'd pull focus on the close subject, move it, pull it to the middle, middle object, and then punch it all the way to the wall, and then come back down. Or what you can do is you bring it up, press record, punch it here, move here, punch it to the closest mug. Guys, if you're new to the channel, you've never seen my videos before, definitely subscribe. I drop a lot of filmmaking gems on here. I've been YouTubing for quite some time. So if you are a videographer, be sure to subscribe to the channel and like this video if you found value in this content. With all that being said, guys, thanks everybody for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.